So what's good TMG fam? It's your boy Ellen. I'm back with another reaction. How y'all feel? Welcome back to the channel. Salute. Now, today what we got, we back talking about one of the veterans in space, bro, that's been doing his things for years. Talking about Voyager. Yes, I call it a veteran, bro. And that's just me showing and paying my respects to it for all the accomplishments and, and different things it's done, the barriers it's broke down. Like, I know we talk so much about the James Webb right now because it's the latest and greatest and what it's doing, but we can't forget those who came before it and Voyagers, they were definitely up there doing their thing. So shout outs to the vet. Today's video is Voyager makes shocking discovery after 45 years in space. Like 45 years in space, man. Let that let that sink into your mind. All right. Let that sink in and and understand what I just said right there. All right. So we're gonna check this video out. If you're new, hit that subscribe button and join the fam. Let's go. On August 20th, 1977, an extraordinary spacecraft left this planet on a journey like no other. Voyager 2 was going to show us for the first time what the outer solar system planets look like close up. Reaching milestones that have paved the way for future exploration, the Voyager mission has achieved many feats that still remain unbeaten. And what's more, an extension may be underway. Welcome to Fact Nominal. In today's video, we'll be talking about the achievements of the incredibly successful Voyager program and what comes next as NASA gears up for its most ambitious interstellar mission yet. In the 1960s, NASA proposed a large-scale exploration of space, a project which was called the Grand Tour. This project involved launching two sets of robotic probes into space to patrol all the planets of our solar system. Unfortunately, the Grand Tour was shut down due to its high cost, and the Voyager program was proposed as a more budget-friendly replacement. The Voyager program, which was launched in 1977, involved the deployment of two probes into the solar system. The twin probes, Voyager 1 and 2, were designed to fly past Jupiter and Saturn, taking advantage of an unusual solar system alignment. In 2022, 45 years later, both spacecraft are still in operation, exceeding everyone's expectations. That's what I was just about to say, bro. I, I bet when they were doing that in the 60s, in the 60s, think about that now. And then think about the, the decade you were born in, right? And think about how you, you probably weren't thinking about what was going on in space or even knew you know what I'm saying? The the era you grew up in, what at what year were you started did you start becoming aware of what was going on in space and what all they were doing? For me, it's just recently. I mean, I was aware-ish, but it, it was it wasn't until it was recently. So in the 60s. So my pops came up and I asked him, and we didn't get to get in depth, but he didn't even know all of the things that I was speaking about. You get what I'm saying? So, man, boy, that, that, that's just to put things into perspective for you timeline-wise. Spacecraft are still in operation, exceeding everyone's expectations. Voyager 1 was launched on September 5th, 1977, and as of August 2022, it's located about 23 and a half billion kilometers away from Earth and moving at a speed of 60,000 kilometers per hour. Within the first two years of its launch, the spacecraft took its first picture of Jupiter along with its moons, including Io, the most volcanically active world in the solar system. After taking pictures of the giant planet, Voyager 1 did a flyby past Saturn and its largest moon, Titan. According to NASA, in 1998, Voyager 1 became the most distant man-made object in space, a record it still holds today. In 2012, the spacecraft became the first man-made object to cross the heliosphere, which is basically the edge of the solar system and the boundary of interstellar space. 
Since its emergence beyond the heliosphere, Voyager 1 has been detecting more cosmic rays than solar particles. Linda Spilker, Voyager's deputy project scientist at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, said in a statement, This is the first time we've been able to directly study how a star, our sun, interacts with the particles and magnetic fields outside our heliosphere, helping scientists understand the local neighborhood between the stars, upending some of the theories about this region and providing key information for future missions. On September 5th, 2022, the astronomy community marked the 45th anniversary of the spacecraft's presence in space. You know, that was just re See, that, they gotta start involving us, bro. I would have definitely liked to have been tuned in to like maybe a NASA channel live feed or something like that that was celebrating the 45th anniversary of Voyager being up there. Like, where do we go to get this information to be able to be present for some of this, man? That was just, just a couple of weeks ago. I'm, I'm hot about that, bro. I'm hot. Reminiscing on some of its milestones. Considering how long Voyager 1 has been traveling the harsh conditions of space, it comes as no surprise that some of its elements are no longer operational. Some have been damaged and some turned off by NASA. However, the probe still has four functional elements that send data to Earth. A few days before this anniversary, NASA detected a glitch from the spacecraft that caused it to rely on an inactive computer. This resulted in the probe gathering and transmitting incorrect data to Earth. Although NASA managed to fix the glitch, they're still looking to find out what caused it in the first place. Not bad, considering the mission was originally intended to last just four years. Voyager 1 is now back on track, but NASA stated that more elements of the spacecraft will- You get 45 years out of something that was only supposed to be out there four years, bro? <laughs> that, that well exceeded your expectation. ...will be turned off as its nuclear power source continues to diminish. Long after its power has been exhausted, Voyager 1, along with its golden record, will continue floating through space for eons to come, marking the beginnings of our attempts to explore the universe. Voyager 2 was launched on a trajectory that took longer to get to Jupiter and Saturn. Therefore, it accomplished this feat about a year after Voyager 1. Regardless, this spacecraft is just as powerful and has achieved its own milestones. While Voyager 1 was explicitly designed to parade Jupiter and Saturn, Voyager 2 was built to pay more attention to ice giants Uranus and Neptune. Within a decade of its launch, Voyager 2 fulfilled its primary missions, visiting Jupiter in 1979, Saturn in 1981, Uranus in 1986, and the Neptunian system in 1989. To date, this spacecraft is the only man-made object to reach both Uranus or Neptune. Originally, Voyager 2 was built as a backup for Voyager 1. Its trajectory was intentionally set to take longer to reach Jupiter and Saturn so that if Voyager 1 failed, Voyager 2 could still take pictures of the gas giant planet. This backup plan would have cut off the possibility of the visit to Uranus and Saturn, but it was a good plan to prevent a loss on all fronts. Fortunately, Voyager 1 did well, so the backup plan was not carried out, and Voyager 2 went on to make history on Uranus and Neptune. On its flyby, Voyager 2 took incredible pictures of Jupiter and two of its moons, icy moon Europa and the exceptionally small Adrastea. NASA scientists were able to compare the pictures the probes took of Jupiter four months apart. The pictures of Jupiter captured by Voyager 2 showed changes in the Great Red Spot and also showed higher resolution images of the giant planet and its moons, even discovering no change in elevation anywhere on Europa's surface. In 1981, Voyager 2 became the third man-made object to reach Saturn, taking hundreds of pictures of the planet, its moons, and its many rings. Five years later, the spacecraft made its closest contact with ice giant Uranus and made several observations about the planet that still puzzled scientists. 
From images captured by the probe, scientists observed 10 new moons, two rings around the planet, and an atmosphere made up of 85% hydrogen and 15% helium. With, with the success of Voyager 1 and 2, and as they explained, I think they said 2 was just supposed to be out there as a backup in the event of Voyager 1 getting damaged or something going wrong. But when it was a success, it, it continued on to do other things. I wonder why they didn't do that with the James Webb like that right now. Now, I know money probably could be uh, a key factor and why not? Because like they said at the beginning of the video, these things aren't cheap to build. We're talking about in the billions of dollars to, to get these things fabricated and built. So I, I get that, but I wonder if that was the, the sole reason or not is the question I had, just hearing them speak about how, what the plan was for Voyager 1 and then Voyager 2. Just curious. Atmosphere made up of 85% hydrogen and 15% helium. The probe also revealed that the planet's south pole was directed toward the sun in a magnetic field that was 55 degrees off Uranus axis. Voyager 2 also imaged Miranda, the smallest and closest moon to the planet. In August of 1989, the probe made history again and became the first man-made object to reach Neptune. Taking pictures from just under 3,000 miles above the planet's atmosphere, the probe discovered five new moons, four rings, and a great dark spot. In November 2018, NASA announced that Voyager 2 had crossed the edge of our solar system and had reached interstellar space six years after its twin, Voyager 1. It's now traveled over 19.5 billion kilometers from Earth and is traveling at speeds of over 35,000 miles per hour. According to NASA, the plutonium-powered spacecraft have enough fuel to remain in operation until 2025. And until then, the probes will continue to take pictures of events across the universe, paving the way for future space exploration. Suzanne Dodd, project manager for Voyager at NASA, said, We don't know how long the mission will continue, but we can be sure that the spacecraft will provide even more scientific surprises as they travel farther away from Earth. Voyager 3, baby. For years, scientists have considered extending the Voyager program by launching a third probe. However, I'm excited because this one I'm paying attention to, you know what I mean? So I'll actually be be waiting, watching, up getting updates on where it's where they're at with it, when they're launching it, be around for the launch date, be able to check in and out like I'm doing with James Webb. So I'm excited about any talks of a Voyager 3 considered extending the Voyager program by launching a third probe. However, the plans haven't been actualized, mainly because there won't be another solar system alignment for another hundred years. In 2021, however, scientists at the European Geoscience Union General Assembly proposed a new project which would include launching a spacecraft to a point in space where none before it is reached. This spacecraft, called Interstellar Probe, or IP, is being built to reach the interstellar medium, a point beyond the heliosphere up to 10 times further than the Voyagers have gone. One of the goals of this mission is to capture the nature of the cosmic bubble that surrounds the Sun, giving us an image of what our solar system truly looks like. The Interstellar Probe mission, which will last at least 50 years, is expected to discover new habitable worlds within and beyond our solar system. This mission is scheduled to be launched in the early 2030s, and experts predict that it will take at least 15 years for the spacecraft to exit the heliosphere, giving 35 more years for the mission to cover more ground in interstellar space than the Voyager probes. The highlight. All right, all right. So what y'all telling me that, you know, it may or may not happen in our lifetime. You know what I mean? That's what y'all trying to get at. Of the Voyager program was the exploration of Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. However, there are still many more planets within our solar system that are uncharted territory. Recently, scientists discovered that there are a lot more than eight planets within our solar system. Remember that Pluto has been relegated to dwarf planet status. 
However, scientists estimate that there are hundreds or even thousands of dwarf planets in our solar system, each of which have interesting qualities of their own. On its way to interstellar space, scientists are hopeful that the interstellar probe could float past any of these geologically active dwarf planets and capture previously unknown space moments. If the Voyager program could make unprecedented discoveries to everybody's amazement, imagine the potential of a mission backed by over a half century of experience. The interstellar probe definitely holds promise, as it's a more informed mission and will be backed up by the most advanced technology. Exciting times for the world of astronomy. That's a wrap on this video. Please like and subscribe as always, and thank you. Definitely, definitely. I think I get so excited sometimes when they start talking about um, either new telescopes going, being out or Voyagers or something like that. I get excited, but I forget that, man, they gotta be designed. Then they gotta be launched. Then they got to get to the destination, which takes years or however long, you know what I mean? And then start to gather data and start sending information back. So you have, a lot, we have a long process. It isn't something they could just think of, get done, get moving, get put out and get to its destination. No, this is a long process. So I have to kind of pull back my emotions and calm it down a little bit, man. Cause yeah, they were talking about what, 2030? And then another 15 years after that, then another. So, yeah, it's going to be a while, a while if we expected another Voyager. But Voyagers are out there, man. Salute to the vets that's out there doing their thing and continuing, continuously doing their thing and continuing. Um, this video, Voyager, makes shocking discovery after 45 years in space and will continue to do so. Y'all get at me in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of this video, man. Until the next one, I'm gone. Peace.